This is a review for Divine Divinity, made by Larian Studios in 2002. For me, this is one of those games that I just can't believe I never heard of until just now. Playing the game makes me feel like Diablo got together with Elder Scrolls and had a love child, which is awesome. It's a top-down action RPG that at first glance looks a lot like Diablo, but its open-world sandbox style of gameplay is much more similar to an Elder Scrolls game. When you start up a game, you can choose from three classes in male or female form. The classes are less important than you think, however. They really only affect your starting stats and skills. When you level up, you have access to all the skills from all the classes, and you can assign five stat points into whichever stat you want. Combat is semi-turn based in that, unlike Diablo, you do have an auto attack. You can also pause the game at any time if you need to in order to switch skills or use a potion. Just be aware, once you click on any action, the game will unpause to carry it out. The inventory system is a little different too. Instead of having a Tetris style system like Diablo, you have a sort of open window where you can drop anything anywhere, and you are only limited by the amount of weight you can carry. It's a little strange to get used to at first, but I kind of like it. I also really enjoy the music. It sets the mood of the game very well. So far, this review has been nothing but praises for the game, but no game is perfect, and there are flaws present here as well. The character portraits, and many of the characters themselves, look a bit goofy and that sort of indie developer kind of way. Some of the game is also voice acted, but that's done pretty poorly as well. However, I'm not entirely sure that was unintentional, as a lot of the voices are comical in nature, so it seems like Larian Studios wanted them that way. Taste my power! No, Mardanius, no! I am Lanilor! Overall, this is a very engrossing and fun game. If you've gotten bored of the Diablo 3 grind and have never played this title, I suggest you look it up. You can get a DRM free version on GOG, or you can get it on Steam for the low price of $5.99. GOG also has the game's sequel, Beyond Divinity, for the same price, which I am now greatly looking forward to, and will most likely do a review for that in the future. 